Amen, amen, amen. Well, let's turn your Bibles to 1 Peter 2, 4 and 5. That's where the theme's coming from, amen. 1 Peter 2, 4 and 5. Amen. When you get there, say amen. 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 We're going to read it. We're going to all read it together. Amen. 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 Let's read. To whom coming as unto a living stone, this allowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious, ye also as lively stone are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices. Assemble to God by Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And the title of their theme is A Diamond in the Rough. Amen. Let's turn to Hebrews 4. A diamond in the rough. Amen. He's going to talk about that diamond just a little bit. Because, see, a diamond is a precious stone, it's highly valuable. Amen. Diamond. In the rough. And when we're referring to a person, we generally think of someone at a glance that mm -hmm. may appear to be common or ordinary, but you recognize a very valuable potential in them. My God. Amen. Or someone who with great uh, expectation, exceptional, someone with great or exceptional potential or talent. Amen. Mm -hmm. But lacking training or need some polishing. Oh, wow. Amen. Oh, wow. And we're seeing someone with exceptional talent and potential, but their outer extremities or character traits, amen, don't match. Oh, wow. Amen. We've seen people like that. Oh, wow. Amen. You, the outer extremities, you know, this, this be good. Uh -huh. You know, and then, but when they speak, you know, all of a sudden you hear all this <laughs> wisdom that come from them and you say, well, they don't go together. Oh, mm -hmm. they need some teaching. That's all. You know, yeah. just shine them up. Amen. Right. To bring them out. Mm -hmm. Amen. A diamond in the rough. Right. See, a diamond in its natural state is just carbon. Mm -hmm. The same mm -hmm. as this charcoal. Mm -hmm. If this carbon. Mm -hmm. Carbon. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's carbon, but it's at a more concentrated form. Mm -hmm. See, a diamond in its right on its original form has very little value. Mm -hmm. It's only after it has been skillfully cut mm -hmm. and polished does it bring or becomes a thing of value. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. See, it has to change form. Mm -hmm. Amen. To become mm -hmm. valuable. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, a diamond in its natural state doesn't have much value. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have much use. You can't use it as jewelry. <laughs> not in its natural state. Amen. It's not pretty to look at. Amen. It has very little value. And it's only after it is skillfully cut and polished does it become a thing of value. But underneath all of this darkness, underneath all of this ugliness, Underneath the right amount of heat, <laughs> underneath the right amount of pressures, this dark piece of ugliness produces this. Hallelujah. 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 In my study, they said that diamonds are formed when carbon is subjected to temperatures of 1,200 degrees. With pressures that exceed 700,000 pounds. Oh, I thank Jesus. Amen. I thank Jesus that he took the pressure. Amen. He took the heat. Amen. So Jesus did all of that for us. Amen. He bore all of our sins. He bore all, took all of our ugliness. Amen. He took all of our iniquities. He took all of our transgressions. Amen. And he put it upon himself. He took the extreme pressures for us. Amen. It was called the crucifixion. Amen. See, when Jesus was beaten all night by the Roman, Roman soldiers, uh, soldiers, that was extreme pressure. Amen. When they pulled his hair by the handful, that was extreme pressure. Amen. When they stripped him of his clothing, 
a king, a savior, a God. Amen. He bore our shame. Amen. That was extreme pressure. Amen. When they beat him with a cat of nine tails. Amen. So that his organs would pulsate through his back. That was extreme pressure. When he did not call down fire from him. Thank you, he didn't kill them all. That was extreme pressure that he did for us. Amen. His body wanted to give out. But he strengthened himself to get up. Because he wanted to make it to the cross. Amen. To be nailed. There as a sacrifice, amen, for our sins, amen, for your sins, for my sins, amen, to be paid in full, amen. That was pressure that is seated over 7,000 pounds. Jesus was subjected to the temperatures over 1,200 degrees, amen. It was called hell, amen. That's where he defeated the devil. That's where he took the sting out of death, amen, and the victory from the grave. Jesus did all of that for us so that we can become this dying. See, Jesus is the master cutter. Amen. Everybody can cut a diamond. And you see, a diamond in the rough needs a skilled diamond cutter to bring out the brilliance of the stone. See, the problem is that we have too many people Trying to cut God's diamond cutters. They are expert diamond cutters and they are not. Amen. Jesus is the master diamond cutter and those he have chosen and trained to polish. That's right. That's right. I see a lot. See, some of us don't like that word train. Amen. But we have to be trained. Amen. To polish. Amen. So we won't kill and destroy. Amen. Cut off stuff that don't need to be cut off. Come on, preacher. The Bible said that men were called and few were chosen. Where I come from, they say some were sent and some just went. Amen. And you can tell those that just went. Amen. Amen. See, a diamond color has to have to have an expert eye to cut because he has to be able to look at the rough diamond and know what to cut. Amen. That what kind of cut that piece requires. Amen. Should it be a square cut? A round cut? A over cut? A princess cut? Amen. See, a diamond cutter requires special skills. Mm -hmm. They have to have special knowledge. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because you got to know about the diamond. Amen. Right. They got to have special tools. Right. Amen. Because you just can't get something start cutting the diamond. Right. Amen. They have to have special equipment. Right. Amen. And techniques. Mm -hmm. See, they got to have special knowledge because there are certain things that you must know about a diamond. Mm -hmm. See, we have people coming in now. Mm -hmm. Coming to God who has been cut but not polished. Amen. See, they have no form of church training. Amen. 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 They may not know what to wear in the house of God mm -hmm. or what not to wear mm -hmm. in the house of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. They may not know how to act, right. what to do, yeah. and what not to do. They may not know the right things to say, when to say it. And we're not the same. Right. Amen. But we can't just cut them up. No. Amen. If Jesus brought them in here, amen, then we lead it to the polishers to polish them. Amen. Oh, right. amen. They have been trained and so they need to be trained and taught the word of God. Amen. And let the word do the cutting away and not religion. Oh, right. Amen. See, religion has taught us the law. Yeah. It's taught us what we can't do, what That's we right. can't wear, you know, all the cakes and works. Yeah. Amen. Right. But it did not teach us the freedom and the grace and the love of God that came through Jesus Christ. Right. See, a rough diamond has blemishes which may be a result of its environment. Yes. Right. Amen. Or what it has been exposed to. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that they can't or won't change. Amen. That may be all they know mm -hmm. or see. Bless you. Right. Bless you. And we have to recognize that. Amen. Right. And lead it to the polishers. Amen. To polish them. Amen. Amen. See, a diamond color has to have special tools. Mm -hmm. They can't just get a sock and start cutting. Amen. If you notice, a diamond always has more than one, this one shape. Mm -hmm. Amen. It always has some extra cuts on it. Amen. Mm -hmm. They just, um, 
They just can't take a saw and start cutting it. It's a process they go through. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the first step they go through is planning. Mm -hmm. They analyze the diamond to determine the maximum value. Amen. They determine the maximum investment, return investment. Because, see, they don't want this cut it. Amen. They're going to try to savage as much as they can that will make it valuable. Okay. Amen. Amen. And then they and the weight retention. Amen. How many carrots it would be. So they just don't start cutting. Amen. They analyze the diamond before they start cutting. Amen. That's how God does us. Amen. He said in Jeremiah 29 11, I know the thoughts I think towards you. Amen. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. Amen. He said, I got a plan for you. Plans to give you the future you hope for. Right. Amen. Um, you hope for. All right, uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. Amen. Amen. See, our diamond color, Jesus, has special equipment and techniques. It's called the Word of God. Yes. Hebrews 4 and 12 says, the Word of God is quick. Amen. Now that word quick in the Greek mean alive. It means live. Amen. It means to life. Yes, right. Amen. The word of God brings to life. Yes. Amen. The Bible says over in Genesis 124 that God said, let the earth bring forth the living creatures after its kind. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, and it was so. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the word of God is quick. Yes. Amen. It brings to life. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. The word of God is said it is powerful. Yes. And that word powerful means active. Mm -hmm. It means labor. It means an act of doing. Mm -hmm. So the word of God works for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. It works for you. And what the Bible says, you can have whatsoever you say because the power, it goes to work for you. Amen. Amen. That's why we have to use the word of God. Amen. Because the word of God labors for us. Yeah. Amen. A lot of times we don't get stuff done because we're not applying the word. Yeah. And it's the word that labors. Amen. Amen. Because yeah. it's powerful. Amen. 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 The word of God went to work and produced life. Amen. That's powerful because it labors. Yeah. It says that the word of God is sharper than any two edged sword. Amen. Amen. It's sharper. Meaning that it's smart. It's wise. Amen. It cut more co comprehensive and decisive as by a single stroke. Amen. See the word God don't just go start cutting. Amen. It's smart. It's wise. It knows what to cut. Amen. It cut more comprehensively. Yes. Meaning it understand the details right. of it. Right. Amen. Right. So it know what to cut and what not to cut. Yes. Amen. Yes. It's decisive. Yes. Amen. It used the correct judgment. Amen. Yes. In the cutting. Yes. Right. See, the two-edged sword was designed for a more dangerous, um, would be more dangerous to the target yes. by cutting going in yes. and cutting going out. Right. Amen. So it cut up some stuff and tear some stuff. Amen. Going in ain't coming out. Yes. It ain't kept. Amen. But the word of God is more smarter than that. Amen. It's sharper than that. Mm. Amen. The word of God is sharper than that. It knows exactly where and what to cut. Mm. Where and what to cut and not to cut. Amen. Right. It said it pierces even. Meaning that it's balanced. Yeah. Yeah. The word of God will always Free. be balanced. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's It'll right. always be balanced. That's right. Because it is a discerner. That's right. It has skill yeah. judging. Amen. See, before we became born again, we were the diamond in the rough. But our true uh, beauty could not have been seen. Amen. See, the diamond is the true nature of God. Yes. It's our divine nature. Yes. Amen. A diamond. Yes. Turn to 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Yes. Because our true beauty before we became born again could not be seen. It was like this charcoal. It was in the natural state. Amen. It was black. It was ugly. Amen. It really couldn't do it. didn't have much value. It wasn't pretty to look at. Amen. Couldn't use it as jury or anything. It was this something that needed to take change. Amen. 
We there in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Amen. It says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature mm -hmm. or new creation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. It says, all things are the old life yes. has passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Yes. Amen. Now, that word creation in the Greek comes from the word kittis, which means original formation. All right. mm. Amen. Original formation. Listen, so if any man be in Christ, he is a, a new creature, or original formation. That means that we were, with, we were created to go back to what God originally created us to be. Amen. Amen. And I believe because it is a spiritual transformation, sometimes we don't always grasp that. Amen. That we are not a new creature. Yeah. We are no longer this. Yeah. Amen. But we are this. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But we have to grasp our mind around. That's why so many scriptures say that we have to renew our mind. Yeah. So we have to renew our minds to who we are. Amen. Amen. And I think that we don't, sometimes we don't really fully understand it, that we were literally translated from the kingdom of darkness and to the kingdom of his dear son. Amen. You know, I heard uh, Kenny Copeland say this the other day. He was saying, say that the kingdom of darkness is like here. And the kingdom of his dear son is like there. And when we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, all of a sudden the kingdom of God is coming. This, it just overtake us. It just immediately take us. Amen. And because we look at our hands and they didn't look new. And we look at our feet and they didn't look new. Amen. So sometimes we don't understand that we really are a new creature, a new creation in Christ Jesus. See, we are no longer this. Yeah. I don't care how you fight to stay there. Uh -huh. Even though sometimes your mind can't wrap around it. Thank Amen. God. But you're no longer there. No. Yeah. Yeah. You are a yeah. 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 They already clean you, cut you up. Amen. And yeah. just took everything that needed to be taken off of you. Amen. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you what happens a lot of times that goes on. Amen. 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 Now, you say, well, what is the original formation? Mm -hmm. Let's turn to Genesis 1, 26. Because... When we became born again, this is really the state that we went back to. Genesis 1 and 26. When you get there, say amen. amen. It says, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Now he said us. Who was he talking to? He's so awesome. He can talk to himself. He talked to the Godhead. Of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Amen. He talked to himself. He said, let us. Amen. The Godhead. Make man. They're talking about mankind. The species of man. Amen. In our image and after our likeness. Now, image means look like. It means to reflect or to mirror. Amen. 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 So we were created in the image of the Godhead. Amen. We mirror them. Amen. 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 And it said after and after our likeness. Amen. And don't look over that word after because after means behind. Mm. Yes. Amen. Following next in rank of importance. So he not only made us to mirror him. But he placed us right behind him Preach. in rank Man. and importance. Yeah, right. Amen. Like he said, in our Amen. likeness. Amen. Now, likeness has reference to pattern <laughs> or act like. Amen. Or be like. Yeah. So when God created us, and when we became born again, we came back to this original state where we mirror God. Right. We got right back in our original place. Preach. Amen. And dominion and power in the earth. Amen. And now we're supposed to act like him. That's why he told Adam, he said, now go and have dominion. Because he supposed to be acting just like God. Amen. God told me, he said, Ann, he said, I use everything that I am to make mankind. Hallelujah. He said, I use everything that I am to make mankind. He said, I took the father that was in me. He said, see, that's, that's the creation. That's the creator part of us. He, the father, he was the creator. He took the part of that, that, that's the part of us that give birth. Mm. That part of us that, that allows us to create because he came from the father part of God. Amen. That's why the Bible says we can speak those things that be not as though they were because we have our father in us. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, and he said, he said, 
said, I gave you my sister. I took the part of me that was the son, yes. which is Jesus, the word of God. Yes. Amen. He said, I placed it in mankind. He said, because that's why you can have whatsoever you say, because the word is in us. It's a part of us. The son, Jesus, is in us. Amen. He said, I took the God love me of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And place it in you. That's the power that's in you to make these things happen. He said, I will tell nothing from you. God created us in his image and after his likeness. We are no longer this. I don't care how you mess up, what you do, you are not this. Amen. You are now this. Amen. See, when we got saved, you didn't get, you weren't a sinner because you sinned. No. You was a sinner because only because of what Adam done made you a sinner. Well, when you became righteous, it was not by nothing you did. It was only by what Jesus Christ did. It's what Jesus did. It's this. Amen. I'm going to get to some of the things that make you Take your time. Amen. But we were creating his image. And after his life. Amen. Amen. Let's turn to 1 John 4 and 17. Right. Have your way, Lord. Because you are a diamond. You are a diamond. Amen. And we're going to renew our minds to who we really are. You know, we can't neglect or negate what Jesus has done. He withheld nothing from us. God said, and I gave y'all, I gave you my all. Everything he had, he gave it to us. He didn't withheld nothing from us. The Bible says God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. His only begotten son. He so loved us. Amen. He just didn't love. He so loved us. He didn't withheld nothing. Amen. First John 4 and 17. They say, therefore. Oh, I'm not here. Okay, first John 4 and 17. They say, here is our love made perfect. That we have, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world.
doesn't mean you're not a diamond. That's right. Why? Why? It just needs cleaning. Why? 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 Yes. Why? Yes. Why? All right. All right. That's all. It just no. needs cleaning. Yes. That doesn't mean you're not a diamond. Yes. And we know it's true. We, we know it's true in the natural. Amen. We wear diamonds. Yeah. Amen. In our everyday doing, our diamonds collect stuff that make it dull. All right. Man. Amen. It don't stop being a diamond. Right. All the lotion that build up on it, all the soap film yeah. that build up on it, yeah. all the stuff yeah. that we do to all yeah. from exercise. Yeah. Amen. It's still yeah. a diamond. Yeah. It may be a little dull yeah. because of the stuff that have attached itself to it. All it need is cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all you have to do. If your diamonds are looked up, clean it. Yeah. And you clean it by getting into the word. And then we are cleaned by the word. We must find out what's causing our diamond to be dug. If it's dug, clean. Yes. Now, one of one of the things that can make it dull could be a lack of maintenance. Amen. The care of the upkeep. All right. Amen. You know, you have to clean a diamond. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. My husband and I was in uh, down in Florida one time. We went to this flea market. We were walking to so the man said, you want us to clean your diamond? And he said, well, no, my diamond is like it need cleaning. No. And he was talking to us. I kept talking to us. And finally, we took our rings off and let him clean it. But that man got through it all down. Oh, that was sparking so we didn't realize how dirty it was. Right. Amen. And see, sometimes that may be how it is. You may not realize how dirty your, your little diamond have got. Amen. That don't mean it's not a diamond, though. Amen. But it means it needs some cleaning. Amen. You get in the Word and clean that diamond. Amen. When they got to that diamond, was so shiny, but we bought the product. Amen. We saw that we bought all of them. That and that and that, too. We said, it ain't even clean your lights. We said, okay, give us all that on the headlights. Amen. Amen. And then like, I'm talking to uh, Sister Mitchell today. We were, we were talking about the same thing. And she was saying, yeah, it's like my headlight. You know, your headlights on your car. Amen. They'll get that film on the dog. That don't mean it's not headlights. That don't mean they're not shining. That don't mean you can't see. Amen. But if you clean that film off, it'll shine even brighter. Amen. What a say? Amen. Because we may have gone through some stuff and stuff have got attached to us. We may have been hurt or offended. Amen. Or been through precious. Amen. But that don't mean that you've been back, you resorted back to this. Amen. Always remember that you are a diamond. Amen. You are a diamond. All you need is find out what's causing your diamond to be done and do what needs to be done. Amen. The Bible said that, um, um, that prayer. Prayer is one of the 18 and 1 says that men must always pray and not faint. Now, faint means you lose consciousness. Amen. Sometimes you, we faint, we lose consciousness of who God is, who he really is in our lives. Amen. So that's why we have to pray. Pray, keep our prayer life. Pray, keep us built up. The Bible said that we should be praying in the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, and I'm doing that even more. Amen. Now I'm learning to pray even more in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because the Holy Ghost builds you up. Amen. It strengthens you. I mean, you can pray in the Holy Ghost and immediately get strength. Amen. So we got to remember to pray. Men have to always pray and not to faint. 2 Timothy 2.15 said that we need to study. You need to study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. And that's what we have to do. We have to study. We got to study God's word and know who we are. Know that I don't care what I do. I'm not resorting back to this. I don't care, devil. No, I am not this. I am a new creature in Christ Jesus. You got to talk back to the devil. Let him know who you are. Amen. The devil will come your mind with all kinds of stuff. Amen. Tell you all kinds of it's all kinds of stuff. Amen. Oh no, don't nobody love you. You all by yourself. You ain't gonna never have this. You ain't gonna never do this. Oh, you you oh you 40 ain't married yet. Oh ain't nobody don't want you. Oh no, I mean, this everything. I mean you name it here, just try to flood your mind. Amen. So we have to get control of our thinking. Amen. Philippians 4 and 8 say, think on those things that are true. God's word is true. Yeah. He said, think of those things that are honest. Yeah. God's word is honest. Yeah. Think of those things that are just and pure. Yeah. Amen. Lovely. 
My yeah. husband said he think of me when he think about some love. Yeah. 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 And I've been good here for it. Amen. 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 So we have to take control of our thinking. We can't just let the enemy tell us anything and minister anything to our minds. Amen. If it's he telling you something that's going against the word of God, amen, do not believe it. You got to fight him back with the word. The Lord told me one time, he said, and anything, he said, anything, um, I would say, come out of a figure of imagination. He said, he say, anything contrary to, contrary to this word, it is a figment of your imagination. It is something you merely imagine in your mind. It's not even real, right? An illusion. Yes. Amen. It's not even real. Amen. So we have to, the Bible says, cast down imagination to every high thing that exalts itself. It exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And have you warned with which one is true? Amen. That's what the Bible says. Cast it down. You cast that stuff down. Amen. We got to fight within ourselves. We have to be selective with our friends. First Corinthians 15 and 33 say, uh, be not deceived. Right. Evil communication corrupts oh, good manners. And see, some people get deceived. Amen. Yeah. They think they can hang with folks no. that got bad ways or bad behavior yeah. and nothing ain't gonna happen to them. Yeah. Amen. But then you start seeing their diamond getting dull oh, and double and double. And the sad part about it when your diamond double, you don't know it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. So we got to be cleaning our diamonds with the word. Amen. 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 And the last one is watch your confessions. Yes. Proverbs 18 and 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. In other words, you're the prophet of your own life. You speak over your life what you can have. Look at your own life and think about what you've been speaking. If you've been speaking death, hard times, trials and tribulations over your own life, and you find yourself always going through, always doing this, always doing it, that's part of what you're saying. I'm always doing it. Nothing never worked out for me. You speak it over your own life. Try speaking the positive thing that God said, I'm more than a conqueror. I'm victorious to Christ Jesus. I'm rich and very rich because Jesus became poor so that I may become rich. Yes. So I cannot be denied because it's a covenant thing. Amen. 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 So we got to get in the word of God Amen. and find out what the word of God says. And we have to stick to that. Amen. Amen. I don't care what you've been through. Amen. 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 I don't care how what attached itself to you. Amen. If you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are not this. Amen. You are not this. Amen. You are now a new creation. Amen. 